ancient Tamil Nadu. The land mass between the Himalayas and Cape Comorin is hailed as a grand old country of Bharat by Bharatiyar in his ode to child. Historians conclude that the land to the south of the Vindhyan range is the most ancient in the world. In the southern state there are people who speak different languages like Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam and Tulu. The people who live in the south of Tirupati speak Tamil. Bhavanandi Munivar, the author of Nannul, describes Tamil Nadu as follows. Venkata Hills on the north, Cape Comrin on south, and the land between these two is Tamil Nadu. During the British rule, most of the parts of South India was called Madras Presidency. After independence, the state which had Tamil as its language was separated. Arunyaranna, the then chief minister in 1967, named the state as Tamil Nadu. The Tamil we speak can be appreciated as Sen Tamil, Pine Tamil and Mut Tamil. The national poet Subramanya Bharatiyar sang Tamil Nadu was ruled by the descendants of Chera, Chola and Pandya who were called Movendas during the ancient time. The southern part of South India was ruled by Pandyas, west by Cheras and north east by Cholas. The Prehistoric Tamil Nadu Before prehistoric period the Indian Ocean on the south of Cape Comoran was a land mass. It was called as Kumarikandam. The river Faruli ran on this land mass which was 8 to 10 times bigger than South India. There were wide ranges of mountains. It was said that the land had sufficient rain, dense forest, civilized people an efficient kingdom. That kingdom would have been the ancient Pandian kingdom. Three Sangams. The capital of Pandyas was Ten Madurai. Tamil Valartha Talai Sangam assembled there. The Pandyas ruled over the land with Kapadapuram as its capital. This place was left over after the tsunami in which then Madurai was taken away by the sea. In Kapadapuram, the poets gathered and had the second Sangam. That city also became a prey to tsunami later. Then the Pandyas ruled with Madurai as their capital. The last Sangam was held in Madurai Muttur. It was known as Kudal as the Pandya kings patronized the poet and held research on Tamil. It was believed that the first, second and third Sangam helped in the development of literature and Tamil flourished under the leadership of Pandyan kings. These Sangams would have been for a long time. The continent Lemuria the conditions were favorable for the growth of living organisms only at Cape Comoran 
which was submerged after the tsunami. Because of this, the evolution of man would have taken place then. The language spoken by those people was the basic of Tamil language. The researchers believed that those were the ancient Tamilians. People who live on the southern part of the landmass are considered as the ancestors of the people of Cape Comoran. There was a big landmass connecting Africa and Australia which was called Lemuria after the name of the monkey Lemur. It was believed that human beings evolved from the Lemurs. The language of the people was ancient Tamil. The land where their descendants lived was called Tamil Nadu. Historic Period The historic period of Tamil Nadu began from the Sangam age. Sangam age is the period during which the poets of the third Sangam joined together and did research on Tamil. This period lasted for 400 years from BT 200 to AT 200. Some consider that it was between BT 300 to AT 300. The Sangam literatures, what we got now, are Yetu Togai and Patu Patu. The poem in this literature were written by Kabilar, Paranar, Avayar, Nakirar and hundreds of poets. With the help of these, we can understand the civilization, customs, culture and political life of Tamilians. Tolkapiyam, which was a pride to Tamil literature, originated before the third Sangam. Tamil literature would have developed a few thousand years ago. It was a pride to Tamil that Tirukkural, which was hailed by all the religions, originated during the Sangam age. The national poet Bharadiyar says, Valluvan tannai ulaginikke tandu van pugal konda Tamil Nadu. Our mother tongue Tamil, which is adoptive to grammatical norms and is called Sendamil. Scholars call Tamil a classical language because it had developed without the help of other languages. According to the idea of Kalanyar, the chief minister of Tamil Nadu, central government had announced Tamil as a classical language in 2004. From this, we know the fame of Tamil. The people who lived in the south, which was surrounded by water on three sides, were good sea traders before the Sangam age, as per the proverb, Tiraikadal odium tiraviyam tedu. The language Tamil is abundant with words like Navai, Kalam, Kapal, Toni, Vodam, Padagu, Teppam and Katamaram which are used to denote the mode of travel at sea. This shows their interest in sea trade. There were many ports like Puhar, Korkai, Musuri, Dondi and Vanchi. They had trade contacts with Egypt, Yavanam, Rome, China and other eastern countries. They followed the barter system. Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa excavated in the northern hemisphere were examples of town civilization. They examined thousands of things. It was proved that it had connection with the southern Tamilians for more than four to five thousand years ago. This showed that in those days Tamilians were not only in the south but also in the north. During the Sangam 
the poets divided the lands into five physical divisions the mountain region was called kurunji the forest region was referred as mullai the coastal area was nadal and the sandy region which suffered drought were called palai the occupation of the people dependent on the region where they lived in those days the most important duty of the kings on those days was protecting their subjects apart from the kings there were chieftains and patrons who ruled smaller regions conditions were favorable for the poets pannar kutar viraliyar traders idayas uravars maravars to lead a comfortable life agriculture was honored as it provided food to all next to agriculture weaving was given importance the three tamil kingdoms the pandyas the pandian king mudathiru maran and talayalanganand cheruvendra nedunjeyan who defeated the combined forces of seven kings lived in the pandya kingdom the one who played an important role in silapadigaram by saying yano arasan yane kalvan i am not a king i am the culprit and established truth was also a renowned pandya king the cheras the famous chera kings emaya varamban nedun cheraladan and silambu pugar cheran sengotavan reached the himalayas and hoisted the chera flag the cholas the famous chola king were karikal peruvaladan and kilivalavan karigalen who ruled over 2000 years ago conquered elam he made the captives build the bank of river kaveri kallanai which exists even today was built by him this famous king was called as karigal peruvaladan the famous kings of the medieval period were rajaraja chola and rajendra chola they conquered not only the north but also java and kadaram the seven chief tents were called as kadayelu vallalgal the famous among them were pari uri kari nalli elani pegan and ai pirappukkum ella uyirkum chirappova cheyidoyil vetrumayan according to the tirukural mentioned above there was a society without any discrimination there were discrimination according to their occupations there was sex system but there were not discriminated according to their birth untouchability was not in practice in due course caste discrimination and untouchability came into force women had the privilege of choosing their life partners parents agreed to that the rituals raising of holy fire and chanting of mantras were not in vogue women were not treated as per the vedas as building of temples was not in practice the sangam people worshiped the stones erected in memory of the dead soldiers which were known as hero stones or nadukal and their ancestors they celebrated harvest festival pongal festival and the festival of spring season in the capital they celebrated indravira they did not know about the festivals of the puranas